let's let's move on to a, a slightly uh, more chipper question. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> we'll start off with the uh, the icebreaker, and um, the next question was: uh, What are the current most sought after positions in cybersecurity? Everything. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> And I, the, the, I guess the from both sides as well. So from the employer side and from uh, yeah. what people are trying to get into. So the the industry is 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 the hottest I've ever seen it. I've I've been in this space for five years now, and it's it's fantastic. You know, from from my perspective as a recruiter helping companies hire, it's massively in demand. But again, it's that at the experience end, unfortunately, not the um, entry level. In terms of the types of roles, and this is where I, I, I tell people to sort of, it's a great question. I didn't get that. Could you try again? <laughs> Siri eavesdropping there. Yeah. <laughs> um, and it's a good point because I, I, I do tell people to try and think of not just the skills that you might be able to transfer that you already might have, but what's in demand? Because the thing is, you might know something that no one's hiring for, and there's, there's, there's no use in that. So thinking of where the market or the industry is going and having sought after skills is a pretty helpful thing. That's that's how you can get sponsorship. That's how you can land a job. That's how you can help stand out above others. Um, so without beating around the bush, I'll, I'll tell you. Um, so the stuff that's keeping us really busy is around um, blue team. Yep. So incident response is probably the, the biggest thing right now. Incident yep. response, threat hunting, threat intel. Um, Australia is a, in some respects maybe a little bit behind other countries in terms of maturity levels so historically you've always had the bigger companies your telcos and banks and then the consulting companies that support those organizations um having the the most of the talent let's say or, or the roles but over the last two three years things have been changing and you've got a lot more um, medium size enterprises and businesses and even sort of startups and fast-growing companies building out their internal teams yeah. So the big stuff there is that blue team. So SOC roles, incident response, threat hunting, threat intel, um, and then also um, security engineering, which is a really vague term, but incorporating yeah. a- application security, um, cloud security or infrastructure for security, um, DevSecOps, if you want to call it that. There's other ways you can phrase it, yeah. uh, but essentially yeah. securing CI, CD pipelines and and essentially back to cloud and infrastructure Um, and then uh, detection and response again that can be sort of between that or blue team stuff but detection and response is massive yeah Um, I I have seen quite a few jobs recently popping up for um, incident response uh, like a a lot more than say pen testing which um, it it, they do sort of swap and change on on what's hot at the moment but it's going to be bigger. So in, in Australia, for example, the, the number is not exact, but it's approximate. Um, there's about 60 companies, let's say, in Australia that hire pen testers. Yeah. Um, it might be 65, might be 70, but, you know, not far off. Yeah. Um, within that, you've only got 10 to 15 internal roles or companies like your banks and telcos and tech companies that hire pen testers. The rest is all with consultancies, boutique, big companies or large IT companies. So it's actually a pretty small space, whereas there's a lot more organizations, enterprises and, and, and SMEs that are building out their internal security teams. So that means the blue team side of things is going to be a lot bigger than the offensive side. For sure. Yeah. I think um, that's that's a, a given with security though, is that they do build out um, larger teams in the on the blue side of things than they do on the red in general, from what I've seen yeah. anyway. Um, so like, for example, you would have a team of like three to five pen testers compared to a team of maybe 15 to 20, uh, on the blue side doing security engineering or, um, SOC analyst or, or whatever the role is that they decide to call it. Um, it, yeah, it's, it's, so that's sort of like the ratio that I've seen anyway. Um, is, is that sort of um, accurate? That, that's it. Yeah, but, but pens, yeah, but roughly getting different organizations, yeah. they all differ. Um, but pen testing is still hot, um, like actually really hot. We, we've turned down four, five companies that have had pen testing jobs in the last two weeks. Um, 
just because the space you can't work you can't work with every company because there's no one to actually headhunt from yeah um and it's yeah it's crazy like literally every company that's hired that that has pen testers especially in the consultant space is is hiring pen testers yeah so I, i don't know of any companies that have pen testers that are not hiring um which tells you it's a yeah, fair it's in demand yeah <laughs> yeah absolutely so if, if you have the skills you've got options you know again but it's an interesting space because again you've got the sort of division of boutiques and, and larger big four type companies or it companies and then internals and you know, different people want different things so some people might not want to work for big four or some people might like the structure of a big four type company and and some people might want to go internal or again there's lots of dynamics there for sure and with with the pen testing roles, um, what sort of pen testing um, is sort of I guess the hottest out of um, those? Uh, like pen testing is fairly broad. There's different types of yeah. um, pen testers out there. Um, do they just sort of label it as as pen tester and um, anyone like a web app pen tester or a cloud pen tester? Everyone just applies and then they pick and choose. Uh, yeah, what the best sort of fit is from there, or what's the process there? It's, it's quite it's quite rare for a company to say we want a, and I actually do have this, but like a mobile apps pen tester. Yeah. Um, in all my years of doing this, it's it's a very rare thing for someone to be very specific about what they want. So it's, especially in the consultancy space, they tend to just want generic um, pen testers. There'll be some people that have. <laughs> yeah. Um, they might gravitate towards certain things, and people will have a specialism, whether it's web apps whether it's infrastructure some people or a lot of people would love to tell you they do red, red teaming um or they want to do red teaming the reality is there's not met many uh, proper red teaming gigs in australia it is it is definitely maturing though but yeah. slowly 